How well can I say? Celebrities? I'd say a mixture of designers and high street copies. Catwalks, um, a lot of what you've just seen on, on celebrities before the clothes come in the shops and then people go out and get them. So, clothes. We all wear them. But who decides on the fashion trends? From the high street to the catwalk, numerous fashion trends have existed and are continuously changing and being reinvented. But who makes the decisions and what makes us follow them? The desire to look good and a greater disposable income has created an obsession with fashion. Everybody wants to stand out from the crowd. With each subculture, each individual wants to be unique and special. Is it possible to achieve this or has it all been done before? Everybody has an opinion in today's culture, but who's really in the know? Janine Munslow and I'm the programme leader of fashion marketing at Northumbria University. Hi, yeah, I'm Dawn Jones. I'm a style advisor here at Ellen Square. Katie Wright, I'm a lead fashion designer. Um, my name's Harry Fawcett and I'm a senior lecturer in design history. Um, I think it has a lot to do with kind of cultural and social changes and the way the world's going on. It, it, it comes down from designers, obviously, uh, high fashion design, but it has a lot to do with responding to the world at that time. Uh, for example, the best example of that is uh, just recently when the Iraq War started, uh, kind of fashion fa found a need to be more glamorous and girly and feminine and very kind of beautiful and see the beautiful side of the world. Whereas in the 90s, where things were kind of okay and going all right, you know, that grungy look was in because we could play around with that. And it, it just changes with the times more than anything. What happens is we do have an in-house design team and they do the old designs. And that can be, you know what I mean, that can just evolve naturally. Do you know what I mean? What's been big in spring, summer, kind of do the same sort of thing for all the winter, but in different shades, different colours, different fabrics, heavier materials, that type of thing. Um, but where it isn't always about catwalk, sometimes our designers that are in head office go all over the world for inspiration. They just visit the cities, the city, the people watch. So a trend isn't necess necessarily, it doesn't necessarily depend on what's big. Sometimes a trend can just form on somebody that they've seen. You could see somebody in America and they could just look fab what they're wearing. And it could be all three market buys and they could just base a trend on that. Do you know what I mean? So it's um, our trends. It's, it comes from the catwalk, but it isn't just the catwalk. We do have our own designers and they do come up with our own original ideas. Things are formed by um, large movements in political, social, economic and cultural events that happen all the time. And um, All of these things together form um, new ways of being, new ways of thinking, give consumers new things to aspire to um, and form new trends. And A good example of that would be something like the long... Um, um, series of fantasy films that we've had over the past few years um, like Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings um, that need for fantasy has provided um, a population with escapism which is what people really want when there's lots of things like terrorism and um, you know, poor economic um, predictions etc so um, something like a fantasy film like that would affect fashion directly it's very difficult, I think, to actually say now. I mean, I think a lot of it is to do with fashion forecasting now. And, um, you know, the fashion industry itself kind of trying to think of something uh, that hasn't been used perhaps for a number of years that will, uh, you know, sort of be uh, a style which will engage people. Um, and I think it, most of it now does come out of the fashion industry and, and um, yes, the style innovation from them. I think Sienna, Sienna Miller. Uh, I like the way Jennifer Aniston dresses, but can't afford to dress like her. Like Jude Law, maybe? Kirsten Dunst, especially, and then, like, typically Sienna Miller and Kate Moss, the usual. Misha Barton. Pete Duggan. <laughs> they do to some extent. Um, I mean I do think uh, for men particularly perhaps again pop music celebrity is something which still has some significance um, and certainly the relationship between 
designers and celebrities is obviously something which has happened relatively recently to the extent that you know it now seems to be a pivotal element of uh, you know magazines like Heat and you know the whole plethora of magazines which are engaged with celebrity identity and you're seeing you know celebrities dressed by certain designers so that, that yes there is a, a strong conjunction between the two I get a feeling which I hope is true um, that this might be now beginning to slightly wane that kind of hysteria about celebrity and and, and the ubiquitousness of these images that um, you know are also very generalized and and a lot of these people seem to me to look exactly the same you know and are addressed in a very similar way and um, celebrities it, it's, a, it's just a real modern phenomenon it certainly wasn't something that was around when I was um, a designer or when I was a student and it's, it's very much a product of now um, and probably will disappear as fast as it's arrived. I think that celebrities do affect trends enormously because they are the bread and butter of the kinds of magazines that, that young people read and therefore influence fashion. Absolutely. Celebrity still is and has, it's, it's very, very big. Um, obviously, Sienna Miller, Kate Moss, if ever they photograph where in the top shop, people from here and they want it. I've seen Kate Moss and Boots, I've seen Sienna Miller in that dress of that belt or that or whatever. Have you got it in? It, it really, really, really does help. And even people come in and copy their look. So, do you know what I mean? Sienna might have a dress. We might have a dress that's very like Sienna was wearing, like a little bit of you know, something like quite similar. Like when the boho look was really massive, people were coming in all the time and want big disc belts like Sienna had, or want the boho style dresses, and the floppy hats, the cowboy boots, all that type of thing. So it really, really does have a big, big impact, absolutely.